Drakus X TV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the previous episode, we began the prologue. Before the battle, it was the Inevitable Encounter, or this is the freaking title as it is, but either way. Yeah, in 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 inevitable in, in county, in county, whatever. Today's episode, we're gonna keep on going and see what happens next. If you have today's episode, if you have today's episode, make sure that like button is for this greatly appreciated channel. We're gonna get into the second part, whatever. Let's go. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself, anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garig Mach Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. It seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me. Naive. Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. 
The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. You know, I realized that I had the mic off the entire time I was going like, um, what is this guy doing? It's like I'm moving the freaking cursor left and right, but you guys are probably thinking, what did I just waste those two minutes for? So, basically, basically, it's just like... Basically, I'm just, I don't know who's in what. I just made a guess that the left, the top one is the yellow, the middle is the blue, and the bottom is must be the red, right? And, and I was curious, does picking any of the sides end up, end up affecting the story or whatever in some way? Do we have to come back like two more times to go to the other houses or what? Like Birthright and Conquest? It's just, it makes me want to think, you know? So, whatever decision I made... Let's go. It's a blind LP either way. New game, blind LP. Let's go. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my. They are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Part 1 White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Okay, but why didn't you do that for the prologue, Jariah? The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. 
In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. The flow of time bring you here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. 
And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. I mean, I'm getting that vibe as well about Lady Rhea. Like, like basically, war is gone. She's in charge of the freaking entire country. What's the conflict going to be, huh? Someone going to die? Is she going to be taking over the entire country in a new world order or whatever? But yeah, I'm getting those vibes too. And why are we going to be the ones teaching? Excuse us? Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Um, I wonder if this game includes like choosing your wives and all that marriage and all that stuff, but um... Okay. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to... Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then. It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire, their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Pardus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, Please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. 
I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Okay, so after seeing that cutscene, I will assume that picking a house will have their own set of characters. So having their own set of characters will be affecting throughout the story. So I'm gonna make that big old guess and assumption. But anyways, well, exploring the monastery. R stick, move camera, zoom in, zoom out, hold dash. Ah. Oh. We're moving, we're moving. Huh, let's greet everyone, blah, blah, blah. Accept the request from Lady Rhea. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That once you have finished, My bad. come and speak with me. All right. May I ask a favor of you? We got an iron sword and vulnerary money. Let's go. Probably won't be doing any battle anytime soon, but... Speak to the house leaders, which is basically those three guys. Controls, storehouse save, guide options, options. Hmm. On, on, on. Battle speed. Smart and HP gauge. Minimap, groups, move, whatever. Horizontal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hmm. Let's figure it out. Let's see how this goes. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. I don't Frankly, understand. Had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust up with the bandits. That's just sad. You trust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. 
Now you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay. Bruh. Look at these graphics. Makes you wonder. First floor. Makes you wonder, was this like how the GameCube... The GameCube Fire Emblem was? The one with Ike in it? Was this how it was for their game mechanics? Because I know for sure for the other Fire Emblems in the handheld games, you just go from one point to another and you go straight into battle. Reception Hall. Oh, hey, there's her. But where are the other two guys? Spotted El Eldelgar. Okay. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Oh gosh. So you pick a name. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. So yeah, basically, basically it is. If we pick the side, we get the set of roster characters then. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ferdinand, Leinhardt, Casper, Bernandetta, Dorothea, Petra. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Hmm, hmm. Yes, interesting. Makes you wonder who we, who we select for our wife, right? All right, well, well, probably not off screen time, but this is like 11 point gigs of freaking worth. So these guys worked their butt off to make this game good. Ah, so the map shows where these guys are at. All right, kitty. But but I have no time for this. I'm trying to make this fast as possible. Time is the essence, and rendering is a is a freaking problem. So by the end of today, it's gonna take an hour just to render freaking 30 minutes of gameplay, just for this. Oh well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Lorenz, Raphael, Ignatz, Lesithia, Marianne, Hilda, and Leone? Wasn't that the Leone archer? Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. What is this, college? Like I said, I'm just scouting out the freaking waifus. Alright. Yeah, that's so. Uh... Anything. We just step over to Kitty. Come on out. Um, let's see. Yo, we're gonna have like so many quests. Right, right. Probably I'm not gonna do them all these all all the freaking quests recording, but off screen time if I'm Please bored. Accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Nice you're not uh, gone. Of course, at the Academy I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Yes. Who? Felix, 
they do Felix S. Sylvian, Mercedes, Annette, Ingrid. That guy? He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Bruh. Robin wannabe. I appreciate your effort. Okay, you're responsible for choosing one house to lead. If you're still students, if you are still students you have yet to speak with, try visiting the each house homeroom to speak. Speak to the three house leaders and gather information with the students. The students can be found in the reception hall, first floor, and throughout the academy. Okay. Yay. Uh, return to the audience chamber. How are you enjoying your time at the academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Alrighty then. Ooh, like I said, this will affect the story. Houses for students from the Adestrian, many are nobility, and most of them use magic. Uh, I don't like the idea of magic. Uh, most value in chivalry and excel at military yards. As per regional tradition, many are skilled archers. Yo, that's like real random. But it says again, many, most, most value, blah, blah, blah. So, I wouldn't doubt it. So, here we go again. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, gacha, tiger, by the. I'm just gonna close my eyes off until something comes up. Because I don't know what I'm gonna pick, but I feel like this is. Red. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by a Yo, I just guessed that. But let's go. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, 
I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and uh, learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agree to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Well, I picked the wrong class. We're going straight into the freaking training already? Oh my. I wouldn't be surprised. Can we at least go to a save point? That'd be great. Use the battle map to create bookmarks, saves, view tutorial guides, and more to access it. Press the A button when the cursor is in space without the without active blah blah. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Receive one G of freaking gold of in the church as funding for this month. Hey, we got something. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happen to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. 
But for now, your work here is done. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Alrighty then. First day off. Whose birthday? Hubbard's birthday. Well, it's a Sunday, so... House rivalry battle. We got like two days to get ready? Oh my god. Manu, thank you. Alright, well, I am so right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe. Shrek is XTB, and I'm signing out.